Now taking a look at some news out of Southside, Virginia, the Chatham Star Tribune is reporting federal investigators said that carbon monoxide was likely the blame for a fatal airplane crash that occurred last year in Pennsylvania County. The FAA, or the Federal Aviation Administration, released their final report on the February 1st, 2022 crash that occurred east of Danville. It concludes the pilot was impaired due to carbon monoxide that came into the cockpit, and that was from undetected engine exhaust. Len Spencer, the investigator in charge, said the pilot, who was not identified in that report, shut down an engine after takeoff. There was no evidence that the engine had failed, which would have necessitated a shutdown. An autopsy conducted by the Virginia State Medical Examiner's Office showed the carbon monoxide level in the pilot's blood elevated 31 percent. Now, the airplane did have an adhesive disposable carbon monoxide detector. There are no FAA requirements that planes be equipped with electronic carbon monoxide detectors. In 2004, the National Transportation Safety Board issued a safety recommendation to the FAA to require installation of carbon monoxide detectors in all single engine airplanes with forward mounted reciprocating engines. The FAA declined to require those detectors, but instead recommended that general aviation airplane owners and operators install them on a voluntary basis. The FAA reports indicates that the plane's owners have since installed electronic carbon monoxide detectors on all of their planes. On February the 1st of 2022, the twin-engine Cessna 310R crashed into a wooded area near the Danville, Pennsylvania County Fairgrounds. The pilot was conducting a surveying flight. Now, according to a preliminary report, he'd previously flown in the same model plane, but this was his first solo flight for the company after several observation flights. After takeoff from Danville Regional Airport, the plane climbed to 2,300 feet before beginning descent two minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. The last data points showed the plane traveling at 193 miles per hour. The wreckage was thrown along a path of 382 feet. The autopsy listed the pilot's cause of death as blunt force trauma to the head, torso, and extremities. More details about the report of the plane crash that occurred east of Danville in 2022 can be found in the Chatham Star Tribune. You can visit their website, chathamstartribune.com.